Mr. Shirley, could you just tell us a little bit about the uh, letter you sent out on Sunday and stress the key points within the letter? Yeah, sure. So Mr. O'Toole sent out a letter last Sunday and he linked a letter that I wrote to the student body. Um, of course, it was meant to be a little bit encouraging and a little uh, challenging at the same time. Um, a few of the main points in there were one to, you know, to praise the student body, the way that they've uh, met these challenges and to encourage them to use these challenges to better themselves. Um, again, I, I always talk about being big in the little things. And sometimes when, when a challenge like this happens in your life, it's good practice for challenging for larger things that might happen to you in the future. So that, that, that was one of the points. Um, again, an encouraging thing that I've heard nothing but great um, comments about the behavior of students in their virtual classes. As always, the expectations for behavior is the same as if you were actually in class. Uh, the only little hiccup that's happening, which is understandable, is some students are sleeping through the alarm or you know attending a class and then falling asleep. So I'm just here today on WXP to really encourage you that you need to be in class, you need to be awake on time and stay awake for your classes, right? This, this is an important um, like extension of the educational year. The year has not ended. The year is not over until it's over, right? And, and uh, you know, we have a great learning platform in Blackboard where we're able to not miss a beat. We can just keep going with our education and it's really important that students are, are there. Um, you have to wake up on time and, and you have to stay awake for your classes. The other thing, the, and the last point that I'll make, I don't wanna to take too much time, is um, you know, Mrs. Stott in the, you know, in the student activities office has been planning some, some spe special things like Spirit Week this week you know, is really big. Uh, Wednesday was the, you know, the community time with clubs and activities and homeroom. And so I also encourage people to participate in those activities. Um, you know, I have a saying that schools are not buildings, they are people, you know. Our school is a trusting and caring relationship. It's not a campus, right? And so the relationship among students and staff is so important. So not, not, not only being, uh, you know, true and on time to your academic de demands, but I would also encourage students to take part in those special things that Mrs. Stotts put a lot of time into. Um, I really appreciate this time and it was nice actually getting to speak to you. And if you didn't read my letter, please go back and look for the email from Mr. O'Toole from last Sunday. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Riley. Thank you, Mr. Riley. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Stott, Director of Student Activities here. And I'm really excited to show you all of the campaign videos for our executive officer candidates. All 9th, 10th, and 11th graders will receive an email with all these videos and a link to the election poll on Monday. Votes are going to be due by the end of homeroom on Wednesday, 429, and the results will be announced that afternoon. Good luck to all of our candidates, and we look forward to seeing the videos. Hello, LaSalle. I am Brendan Donashi, and I'm running for president. And I am Louis DePed, and I am running for vice president. We believe that the most pressing issue at LaSalle is the lack of simplicity and directness in communicating school events and school functions. We will maximize updates on social media with daily infographics to ensure students never miss out on anything. In doing this, we are making LaSalle simple again. While our campaign views improving this as the biggest quality of life improvement at LaSalle, there are many other issues our campaign will work to improve upon. Our other ideas include improved communication with Colon Art, school-wide esports tournaments, just like the one we helped coordinate for Spirit Week, a return of pep rallies to LaSalle before big games and events, and constant progress reports of what we are doing and what changes we are making so you know we're delivering on our promises. I want you to ask yourself something. If you were running for office to lead the student council and the student body, would you vote for yourself? Of course you would. In voting for the Donna Sheeta PED campaign, you are doing just that. You are, voting, you are putting the voice back in the student body, and we guarantee you're going to see your feedback be put into action. Vote for yourself on election day by voting Donna Sheeta PED. For more updates on our campaign, 
follow us on Instagram at Donishy underscore depend underscore 2021. In fact, once you're there, check out our story pool and give us feedback on what you want to see. All of your feedback on what changes and additions you want to see made to LaSalle to improve the quality of life of the student body will be looked at and be pushed for. Let's make LaSalle simple again. Let's make LaSalle a place where the students can have a real voice. Vote Donishy Deped to be that voice. Hi, my name is Sean Bradley, and I'm running for president. And my name is Brennan Fry, and I'm running for vice president. Together, we are the underdogs. One of our top priorities when elected is to make sure that every student has a voice and will be your voice. LaSalle well, is our second home, and we want every student to have a say in what goes on here. Under our administration, we plan on bringing big changes to the LaSalle community that will benefit the whole student body. Some of these changes include improving social media updates, creating better representation for the school's extracurricular activities, and increasing student events and activities. For daily update improvements, we'll have um, the one schedule posted every Sunday on Blackboard, the portal, and Corner Instagram. Next, we'll have the XA Club schedule updated every A day on Blackboard and the portal, as well as have the semester folder calendar updated at the start of every semester on the portal on Blackboard. Also, events like liturgies will also be posted to the um, Student Council Twitter, Instagram, and um, portal. Also, events like sports events and the uh, dances will be posted on those sites too. Next, we plan on creating a better representation for the school's extracurricular activities. One of these ideas includes a new Twitter and Instagram page dedicated to showcasing the school's clubs. We'll also have daily announcements, photos, and scores of all the games on the sports Twitter and a new LaSalle Sports Instagram page. Finally, um, we'll push for more student events and activities like pep rallies during major sports seasons. We also plan on showing March Madness in the cap. And on X days, we plan on bringing down the projectors to show a movie during community time to bound with our brothers, which will be decided by a student body vote. How about Space Jam? That's a great idea, Sean. Both Sean and I are very approachable guys. And if we need anything for anyone to talk to, to make LaSalle a better place, don't hesitate to let us know as we are the voice of the student body. And as your student council officers, we'll do our absolute best to get our job done. And you can count on us to get the underdogs to get the job done. That's all, folks. Hello, I'm Kevin Comerford. And I'm August Blatney. And today, we want to discuss our basic platform for student council. We are not a campaign based on promises. Rather, we are a campaign based around you, the students. What August and I want is to bring the power back to you. We will accomplish, we will accomplish this by having your class senators listen to you and your ideas and bring them to our meetings. To do this, we'll have your senators go to your homerooms once a week and pull your thoughts on upcoming events. This means your thoughts, grievances, and ideas will be taken into consideration when discussing student council run events like Turkey Bowl, Homecoming, Formals, Proms, and of course, Field Day. We want you, the students, to feel free to email us or contact us at any time. Student council's job is to represent the student body, and we want to listen to you to accomplish this goal. Thank you, and vote coming for Blatney this election. Hello, LaSalle. My name is Connor McCormick. And my name is Brandon Curran. And we are hoping to be your future president and vice president. At LaSalle, I've played rugby since freshman year and involved in many activities, including student council, environmental club, ministry and service team, and LaSalle Academy tutoring. At LaSalle, I've played soccer and volleyball since freshman year, was a member of the band freshman and sophomore year, and am a member of the World Soccer Club. If we are elected, we have many ideas we would like to put into place to improve and make easier student life at LaSalle. Our number one goal is to improve student knowledge about events and activities. However, what separates us from other candidates is how we plan on sharing that news with you. 
we would create a group on an app called Remind in which all LaSalle students could join. And all news we post on this app will instantly notify all students who joined our group in the app. Therefore, there will be no need to check social media or your email for updates because you will be given updates immediately on your phones. Our next goal is to try and help students with their workload. We understand that students are overwhelmed with tons of work, especially before breaks and at the end of the semester because we have struggled with these issues for three years now. We have, le we have seen LaSalle try to implement the system when testing days are assigned to certain subjects. We plan to help enforce this rule more seriously to help students stress level and workload. We also plan on implementing many other ideas that we believe can improve LaSalle, such as more student events, such as pep rallies for each sports season, relaxed library use, and a drop box for student ideas so that although there are elected officers in place, students at LaSalle can have a say in what goes on. If you have any questions, please feel free to DM me and Curran at, on our Instagram, McCormick Curran. And yeah, but McCormick Curran. Yeah. Good morning. My name is Ben Chatsonoff. And I'm Ricky Meister. We are running for president and vice president of the student body. But why should you vote for us? To start, we are involved in, in many things at LaSalle. I've been involved in student council since freshman year, the football team, the lacrosse team, and Speak Up. Now I'm involved in the student council, ministry and service team, Speak Up, several different clubs, and many of the amazing service opportunities offered at LaSalle. Since both of us have a high level of involvement in the LaSalle community, we know what works and what doesn't. Also, we see many areas that need improvement. We believe that one of the most pressing issues at LaSalle is a lack of student teacher communication regarding test scheduling. Students are often bombarded with three or more tests in a day. This needs to stop and we will work with the administration to find a solution to this problem. Another area that needs improvement is the lineup of school events for the year. The events we have each year are very repetitive and need to be revitalized. Our ideas include a new field day, pep rallies, and fundraising events. We believe that this will help bring more school spirit and encourage involvement in more of the activities at LaSalle. And of course, we will make daily updates on our social media accounts about upcoming sporting events. However, we believe our social media should encompass much more than that. We will provide daily updates on all school events, clubs, activities, and other opportunities available to LaSalle students. You're committed to reaching these goals and improving the LaSallean community. With the help from the student body, we can make LaSalle a better place for everyone. Thank you, and remember to vote Chatsonoff Meister on election day. Hello, LaSalle. My name is Griffin Steinman. And I'm Liam Kennedy. We are running for president and vice president of LaSalle. We hope that you and your families have been doing well and staying safe in these hard times. While we were still in school, our campaign had been working very hard to bring changes that benefit you, the student. One major thing we have accomplished is the installation of a doorknob in the library. In addition to that, we have already been making other major improvements, especially when it comes to culinary. You may have noticed many student requests for items in the CAF have already been fulfilled. We are not going to wait to be elected. We are ready now. Hey Griff, could I get some of that? Yeah, sure thing, man. Here you go. Thanks. Guys, let's be real here. If we are able to create things such as new deals in the CAF now, imagine what we can do as president and vice president. Don't worry guys, that's not the only thing we care about. We care about the students of LaSalle. After all, we are all LaSallean brothers. You're gosh darn right, Liam. That's why we will be 100% sure that you know about every student event, dress down day, schedule change, major sporting event, club activities, you name it, we'll be sure that you know about it. Oh, and we didn't forget about social media. It's absolutely correct, Liam. We will be sure that all student updates are communicated to you in a convenient way, especially using social media. And remember guys, we are all here for a good time and we will make absolutely certain that you have a good time, okay? 
for all this and more, vote Diamond Kennedy. Hi, everybody. As most of you know, I'm executive presidential candidate, Kevlar J. Barry. And I'm vice presidential candidate, Tim Barrett. We hope everyone is holding up well at home during the coronavirus lockdown, and we hope that it'll all be over soon. We want to communicate to you our three main goals, giving the students more of a voice, raising school spirit, and pushing more for student requests to cafeteria options. First and foremost, we want to give students more of a say in events they participate in by putting decisions that affect students directly to a vote. Another way we want to help you guys be heard is through working with the administration to allow students to, to choose speakers for assemblies. We want you to enjoy the events that you attend. Our second big goal of the year is to drive up school spirit. With quarantine not allowing us to be together in school, school spirit is sure to take a hit. To combat that, we have three different strategies we plan to use. We plan on having three smaller pep rallies throughout the year for each sports season. We want to make sure all sports get showcased. We also are going to push for a spirit league, like the one we had last week, earlier in the school year, to get everyone back into the swing of things. Finally, we will form a new communications committee. This will include members of student council and will work with WEXP, the Wisterian, LaSalle Sports, and other LaSalle groups to raise awareness for events and activities around school. Our final goal is to figure out why cafeteria food prices keep on rising. They rose throughout the year without any explanation. We plan to work with Cullen Art to explore options to mitigate the rising prices. We also want to give the students additional options for food. We plan to work with Cullen Art to provide samples along with the prices of certain foods in order to figure out which foods the students want and what they'll pay for them. At the end of the day, we believe in you, the students. And by giving you a voice, you can better lead and do what's best for everybody. We're here to serve you, so make sure to elect the candidates who will give you a say. Stay safe out there. Thanks for taking the time to listen to us. Hi, my name is Lucas Braccia. And mine is Teddy Nagel. And we are running to be your future student council president and vice president. Ted and and I are not your traditional candidates for student council. We will refuse to just settle with maintain the status quo. We intend to implement far-reaching reforms to bring positive, lasting change to LaSalle for both current and future students to enjoy. Our first goal is to revolutionize the way the LaSallean community receives information. Recently, LaSalle has begun to use social media to convey information, but we plan on taking these past efforts even further. Our social media plan will consist of using several platforms, such as Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter to give students daily updates on sports schedules and results, letter day schedules, important administrative changes, student council events, and more. Our second goal is to increase the responsibility of the student council. As a democratically elected body representing the students, the student council ought to have more influence in the school. For example, we will push for reforms not traditionally the concern of student council. Working to improve the parking lot situation and fixing the dilapidated staircase to Upper Bartley are a few examples. Ted and I have also pushed to have executive student council officers attend certain board and administrative meetings to increase the representation of the students in important decisions that impact students the most. Lastly, we will also attempt to create new LaSallean traditions, especially around Catholic Schools Week. Initiatives such as a free dress down day, discounted items in the student center, an assembly, and a faculty versus student basketball or volleyball game are some ideas we have for celebrating Catholic Schools Week. A vote for Bracho is a vote for an accountable student council. As president and vice president, we will be true representatives of the student body. We promise to always have your back and will fight to make sure all your needs are heard. That formation looks like a wrong. Good for a first down and more. Can take it in. Touchdown. Ooh. Oh, found an open window. Going straight for the end zone. Looks like it'll be a touchdown. Oh, it's the rest, man. Yeah.
tomorrow. This guy seems to really enjoy doing that. Uh, and it works every time, so I guess I get it.